you ever feel like this at the end of the day? It's probably because what you've been eating. But if you eat this millet, apple millet, cinnamon porridge, you're gonna feel like this at the end of the day. Let me tell you all about this amazing recipe to solve your bloating problems. I've learned so much from this brand new book called The Power Foods Diet by Dr. Neil Barnard. I heard him speak and this inspired me so much. I'm gonna give you tips of how to have an amazing May swoon over your body in June. And by July, you won't be shy when you wear that bikini. So let's get started with this delicious millet high protein breakfast. First, what I like to do, this is a trick, you probably won't see it from anybody else, but I figured it out on my own. You put the millet, because they're tiny little seeds, if you put it in a, in a strainer, they're gonna fall out. So put it in the nut bag. We're gonna rinse it in water until the water is clear. Okay, I just use cold water, and you can see how it's kinda cloudy, you see, and bubbly and all that good stuff. And I just pour that out, do it again, Here's the trick of getting these little seeds out of this bag, because right now they're gonna stick. You see that? That's not good. So I squeeze out as much water as I can. And here's the trick. You get a towel, any old towel, and you put it on the towel like this, spread it out, and we're gonna dry these seeds just like this. So first we're gonna toast these seeds. Just right when you start to smell them, you take it off the heat. And then we're gonna blend it in the blender. And we're gonna make it where it's half seed and half flour. And then we're gonna cook it. And what we're gonna cook with it is diced apple, cinnamon, I like Vietnamese, oat milk, and water. Now listen, if you don't wanna buy oat milk or make it yourself, don't worry about it. I made it just with water and it still tastes delicious. But the oat kinda makes it a little bit creamier and it cooks a little bit better. So first we're gonna toast the seeds and look how easily they come out. Pretty good, right? Now we have a seedless bag. Oh, I can already smell it. It really smells so delicious. We're gonna pour this right into the blender. Now we're just gonna blend it. I better put the top on, what do you think? Good idea. <laughs> that would be a mess. And that's it. It's like five seconds, if even that much. So let me show you. You can see there's some seeds and some flour. And now we're gonna add the cinnamon. Oh, it's so good. I like Vietnamese, really. We're gonna make the diced apple. This is about three quarters cup. Teaspoon of cinnamon. We're gonna put two cups of oat milk. Now there's certain oat milks that have sugar and vanilla and all sorts of other stuff in it. This one just, I make it my own. And then we're going to add also a cup of water. Now like I said, if you want to just use water, that's absolutely fine. So what we're going to do here is bring it to a simmer, a boil, and then we're going to cover it and let it simmer for 20 minutes. I got to tell you, these three great tips in this book. It starts out saying there are three things about our metabolism and burning calories and losing weight without even realizing that you're doing it. It's all in what you eat. So for example, the first thing we want to do is be able to tame our appetite. You know when you eat a cookie, you just want another one. It didn't fill you up, but if you eat like an oatmeal cookie, like Garden of Edie's oatmeal cookie with cranberries, it's delicious, it doesn't have anything bad in it, and it really does satisfy you. Number two, we've got to excrete these calories. We've got to get rid of the calories. It's so interesting that if you eat butter, it's pure fat, and all your body totally absorbs all the calories, all of it. But if you eat like a whole grain piece of bread, the brown bread compared to the white bread. The white bread, the body absorbs all the calories. The brown bread, what happens is it excretes through, it, when you go to the bathroom, a lot of those calories come out with that fiber. That's why fiber is so important. And then the third thing that I thought was really interesting is when you eat these whole foods, the fruits and the whole grains, the brown rice, the brown pasta, it increases your metabolism 
afterwards. So they test people and they put a mask on them and they see how much oxygen they're taking in and how much carbon dioxide they're expelling. And they can do arithmetic, which I don't know that math, but they do some sort of arithmetic and it shows you how many calories you're burning. And with these sorts of meals, you're burning calories well after the meal. So it's fantastic. Now, this is almost coming to a boil. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna move it off this and onto the stove because this thing is too hot. Now it's simmering and it smells so good. You might wanna make a double batch because this is a great breakfast meal prep opportunity. You can make it for a whole week in advance and then every day put different toppings on it. Reheat it, different toppings, it's fantastic. And just remember, it's high protein. It tames your appetite for hours. It also excretes the calories because those whole grains and, the, and all the fiber in the fruit and you'll still be burning calories for the rest of the day. Okay, it is ready. I got some splaining to do, okay? So when you cook this, every couple of minutes, stir it, okay? Every couple of minutes, because it will stick to the bottom. Don't ask me why, I'm not a millet. If you wait to eat it, it's gonna dry out. So you're gonna add a little bit more water or a little bit more oat milk and just stir, stir, stir. And that's what you're gonna do after you meal prep. You're gonna take it out of the refrigerator, you're gonna put it in a pot and put a little water in it, stir it until it's smooth, and then you're ready, ready, ready to serve it. Now, there's so many fun things we can serve this with. So as you can see, I've already made raspberries, apricots, and blueberries. Isn't that delicious? Now, you know how many antioxidants are in here? I didn't count them, but there are a lot. This is toasted coconut flakes with dates. Dates are so good for the brain. It's the glucose the brain needs. It's not sugar. It's pure brain food. And then, of course, we've got this plain one. We need to zhuzh it up, don't you think? So I think I'll do some walnuts on this. Walnuts are also good for the brain, and they're just good protein. Not that we need more protein with this, but hey, it's okay. So we're just, we're playing with our food. Better yet, put together a whole bar of fruits and vegetables and nuts, and let them make their own creation. You know how much fun the kids would have doing this as well? Okay, everybody, look at all the fun ways you can make this. Definitely use this as a meal prep in advance. And hey, let me know what your favorite toppings are. Please comment below, are you gonna make this? At Garden of Edie, we always like to say, health is serious. We fun. Okay, you guys, have a healthy, happy, appetite-taming, protein-boosting, metabolism-going breakfast. I'm trying, okay. Oh, let's take off, yeah. Okay, tell me when. Okay. Make this fantastic, high protein, weight bearing. <laughs> I do I have to say all those over again?